So we have now been joined by Coach Hudspeth. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks again, as always, for joining us. And as a reminder to members of the media on the call, please press star one at this time to get in the queue for questions for Coach Hudspeth of Louisiana. Before we get to those, Coach, could you just get us started with your thoughts on last week's win against Southeastern Louisiana? Uh, glad to get out of the blocks with a uh, good home victory. Um, showed uh, showed us what we need to work on. Show us some things we feel like we're doing better in some areas. And so it was a good measuring stick to start the season. It gives us an opportunity to to see where we were at, and uh, we like where we at in some aspects. And in some aspects, obviously, we got a lot of work to do. Um, of the defensively, uh, did not play Tracy Walker in the first half, and Travis Crawford only played a few snaps. And then uh, Denarius Howard did not play also, so we really played it with our fourth and fifth team safeties there in the first half. And Jarvis Jeffries got injured on the first drive, so we basically had three starters out defensively, and I think hopefully that had a little bit to do uh, with the way we played defensively. But also going to give Southeastern some of that credit too. I thought they had a really good quarterback, good running back, and a good plan, and um, got to give them give them credit. Uh, offensively, I thought um, we we made some strides. I thought Jordan Davis uh, at times really showed that he could he can be a, an outstanding quarterback for us. Made a couple of uh, first first day on the job mistakes, but other than that, I thought he took care of the ball, threw the ball threw the ball uh, pretty accurately, and ran the ball well. So hopefully, we can build on that. And it was great to see Raheem Malone and Raymond Clay in the in the return game be as dynamic as they were. Uh, that was something that we really emphasized in the uh, in the postseason. So uh, hopefully we can make a lot of progress from week one to week two. And coach, you mentioned it uh, briefly, but uh, Raymond Clay was the se- special teams player of the week this week. Um, how big was his performance? Um, several momentum changing kickoff returns in last week's game. Yeah, you know, just to start the season, the way he started it off right off the bat, and it was great momentum. And uh, we'd worked awfully hard with our return team and our guys. I know he would be the first one to give his teammates credit for a job well done, but he's got a lot of speed, and that that helps um, overcome sometimes when you don't even block it perfectly. So he's a dynamic kid, and I was really proud of him tying the school record for uh, kickoff returns in a game. So something to build on. And uh, we're excited to get back to work, get ready for a, a very talented Tulsa team. Coach, we'll go to questions now from Tim Buckley with the Daily Advertiser. Hey, Coach. Hey, Tim. Hey, uh, what's the update on uh, Trey Regis and Tanner Holmes? And also you mentioned uh, Jeffrey, so I guess him and anybody else. And is with, with Jeffrey's getting hurt, was that why Andre Jones uh, played as much as he did? Yeah, that's why we went with the freshman D end, you know, throughout the game. Tanner Holmes got banged up early, and so we didn't have him either. Um, and then, obviously, Denarius Howard, we decided to hold him out one more game to make sure his hamstring was 100%. And then, as you know, Tracy was, was, was out because of the bowl game, head-to-head contact. But, but Jarvis, hopefully we feel like we'll be back this week. Uh, Tanner Holmes will be back. Uh, and what was the other one you was asking? Uh, Trey Regis with the shoulder. Trey Regis wait, waiting to get evaluated uh, a little little further today, hoping that he will be available. Hopeful. Okay. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Tim, thank you very much. And, uh, Coach, those are all the questions we have for you this morning, so thank you very much for your time as always. You got it. Thank you, Trevor. Have a good one.